What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What's up guys and welcome to part two with this Naya Feather deck, uh, originally suggested by our good friend Adam on Instagram. We certainly do appreciate it. Uh, if you have a deck suggestion, please make sure to leave it down below, uh, or send it to us via social media, wherever you feel necessary. We certainly would appreciate it. So let's jump in. I know we made quite a few misplays in the first video, so we're going to do our best to mitigate at least some of those this time around. Um, now we are against an Obosh deck, um, which is interesting. Uh, this is... I think a keep uh, because we might be able to kill off a creature here. Now, we're kind of banking on a lot. Uh, if I'm honest, this is going to be a bit of a tough matchup, I'm imagining. Um, but we'll do the best we can. So let's go ahead and drop this temple. I'm going to put that one on the bottom. We've got more than enough land. Uh, sorry if we have a few frame rate issues. I know our network is kind of being pulled in a few different directions at the moment just because uh, we've got a lot of things going on, people on Zoom meetings, etc. cetera, uh, but no big deal. All right. Um, hmm. Uh, let's do this. I feel a little bit sketchy about dropping this out quite so soon, um, but we'll see if this works out or not. Um, also, guys, very, very exciting stuff. Uh, we are going to be dropping our Akoria box opening videos. We've got a collector's box as well as a regular box that we're going to be opening up on the channel. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. I am so excited. Um, very, very cool stuff. All right. Good news is they don't have another land for this. Bad news is they may still have a shock. <laughs> they didn't. That's good. Um, let's do this. Uh, we're going to throw that on the bottom. Don't think we need that. Uh, let's play Sacred Foundry. And let's move to attacks here. We're going to Defiant Strike. Um, mostly because we kind of just want to get another creature uh, at this point. Um, and so the draw here is really, really good for us. Um, and this is now officially, I mean, pretty much stronger than anything they will have. Um, that being said, you know, there's still plenty of things they can do. We just have to be very, very conscious of our life total here. So we'll do the best we can. Uh, so far, I don't think we've made any terrible misplays at least. Um, but we'll see. Uh, it was a bit of a sketchy keep. I will say that, um, so that was a little rough. Uh, we just kind of have to hope they can't remove this. Um, is really the goal. Sure. Okay. Uh, let's do this now. Um, and yeah, I think we'll keep that on top. Uh, let's go ahead and attack in. They do kind of, they're a little bit obligated here to block. Um, hmm, do we, no, I don't think we do yet. Uh, yeah. This is kind of a free block for them, so that makes complete sense. Next turn, we're just, we're, we're really just kind of hoping they don't go over the top of this turn so we can drop this down, um, and then really you know, put on some damage, hopefully. So we'll we'll do the best we can. Uh, good that we had another creature on top. I do think we kind of need that. I was thinking maybe we could Defiant Strike into it, but obviously we don't have the mana, so not going to be worth it. Um, interesting matchup here, though, and I think they are stuck on lands, which is helping us significantly. Uh, normally this deck is quite a bit faster, I would imagine. Um... Also, guys, if you're interested in picking up our full art land stuff, uh, the islands are the only ones available quite uh, at this point. Uh, the other ones are on their way, so they will be here very, very soon. Um, 
but not quite yet. Um, so if you're looking to, to pick those up uh, by any chance, you can certainly check out our store. Itresolvesmtg.com is where we have all that. Um, so definitely check that out if you're interested. Uh, yep. All right, let's just draw. Let's go ahead and throw this out. And now we do kind of have to be careful here. Um, they're going to be able to swing for quite a bit of damage, so we do have to be very, very conscious of that. We'll throw out this temple. Go ahead and get our scry. Um, I think we'll keep that. Uh, and we'll go ahead and attack here. We probably should have attacked first. I think that was a bit of a mistake, but that's okay. Maybe we should try this to the bottom. I think that might be a bit of a mistake too. I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking creatures. We probably just need as many as we can get. Um, yeah, we'll just pass here. Uh, that was more just to clear out a path, uh, because my assumption is Obosh is coming down this turn, uh, and they're going to start dealing m double damage, uh, which is very, very good. So uh, to be able to leave up you know, one of these is actually really crucial. Um, if they had blocked here, we would have, of course, used one, but I, I didn't expect them to, is what I will say. Um, and now they're in a position too where they have to be very careful, because we, I mean, we've got five mana, we've got quite a lot of pump spells that can really do some damage, so they're going to have to be pretty careful as well here. They can't just attack in, um, which is nice for us. That's frustrating, for sure. Yep. That's more of a free block for us if they do that. So that's actually fine. <laughs> See what they do. Okay. All right. Um, don't love doing this, but I think we kind of have to. We just have to hope they didn't have a shock there, essentially. Uh, if they did, that would have been a big issue. But this way, we at least get their biggest creature, um, minus Anax, off the field. The problem is now there's spread out damage, which is not good for us. So This turns out not a very good draw here. Ugh. I don't know, guys. They're playing very, very carefully, which I respect. They're, they're doing a fantastic job here. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to be aggressive. I don't know if this is right or not, but we're going to try it. My assumption is they're just going to block with one of these guys. If they don't block, we can do, what, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we could kill them if they don't block. So they are kind of obligated to at this point. The question is, do they block to kill or do they just block? I don't think they block to kill in this deck, so... Um, not feeling too confident though, I'll be honest. Sure. At the very least, this could have been an unblockable creature, so that's not the worst thing in the world. Um, I'm going to Defiant Strike now. Just to draw a card. If we can get another creature, that would be great. Uh, yeah. Oh, incorrect tapping. Okay. We just kind of needed another creature. That's why I did that there. Um, 
All right. Oh, these can't block. I'm sorry. I was over here like, yeah, they could block with a token. These cannot block. Um, but now here they've got, you know, Obosh as a drop, which is really, really good. Um, we do get to infuriate something, uh, but chances are I think we would, uh, we would be losing pretty heavily. Still, we'll do the best we can. We will see. And they're not going to go for the Obosh. They're just going to go for this. Okay. That's fair. Ooh, that's really good. Wow. All right. Solid. Oops. Yep. Do we just lose is my question. I think we probably do, right? Okay. Yeah. I feel like they could just attack with everything, right? We've got two blockers. I mean, yeah, we've got two mana open, but they've got way too much going on. I mean, we have to block the Annex. There's no way we can't, but I think we just lose here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and concede. They're playing very carefully, but they, they won it. And there's no need to, to drag that one out. Uh, well done, opponent. That was a, a cool game, actually. Um, not having the best of luck with Naya Feather, if I'm honest. <clears throat> but that's okay. It's all about learning. All about learning. And just having fun. I like just trying out new decks. It's fun. All right, what do we got? What do we have here? Um, I don't think we can keep this. Uh, I'm realizing that having the green in here, uh, as cool as it is, makes it very inconsistent. And I don't like that. Um, this we will keep. <clears throat> we'll throw that on the bottom, I think. Uh, let's lead off on this. Hello, Nathan Wide. He's on your side. You can't see his name, but it's Nathan Wide. All right. Uh, and they are playing a Laris deck, so that's going to be fun. Um, let's get Season of Growth out. <clears throat> uh, this is the enchantment version. <coughs> Excuse me. So my assumption is they are going to have dead weights and stuff like that. Um, Thankfully, drawing the second one of those makes this a lot easier. Go ahead and get a couple scries in. Uh, no, don't particularly want that. And no, don't particularly want that, uh, if I'm honest. Great combination with Season of Growth here. Uh, Hero of the Nyxborn, very, very good. Okay. So this is much more of the proactive deck. We've seen this a couple times already. And it's very, very good. We'll attack with both here. <clears throat> Let's Defiant Strike. I'm just going to do this now. We don't have a whole lot else going on, so I feel like might as well do something. Uh, we could have played out this temple. That was a bit of a mistake. And unfortunately, we're doubling up on these, well, tripling up on these Nyxborns. So that's not good for us. Uh, we are going to have to leave one of these guys back uh, next turn, most likely. Actually, kind of works. I mean, it sucks because they draw a lot, but... At least we can play out another one without having to sacrifice one. Let's drop this first so we get the extra scries. Um, no. 
I just don't think this deck has a lot of great tools. Um, like, what do we do against this? We don't have a removal spell for it, so, like, we can't do anything about it. We just have to block it endlessly, but it has lifelink, and we're over here just trying to attack it in. Like, I'll be honest, I'm not loving this deck. Uh, it's fun, don't get me wrong, but I just don't think it's it's where it needs to be. <clears throat> yeah. And this is the thing, the gap is just widening, like way beyond what we can actually do. Um, it's Defiant Strike. Might as well. Got nothing better to do, unfortunately. We could have done this defensively, um, but I just don't think it's the right call, to be honest. Um, yeah. We'll play Temple. Probably should have played this one, but that's okay. I mean, we just lose next turn, right? We blocked this, but Ugh. also think we've got a lot of land in this deck. Um, maybe it was incorrect to do that. Maybe I should have played more defensively, but I just don't. I don't see this working. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, we just lose. All right. Last game, guys. Let's see if we can pull out a win. I do believe we got one win in the first uh, video, uh, which did feel good. And you got to see what the deck is trying to do there. It just... Maybe I'm being too aggressive. Maybe that's it. I, I don't know. In that matchup, it very easily could have been that I should have been way more defensive, but... Uh, this I actually think we keep. Um, if we get a white source, we can play this out. If we get a green source, we can play this out. But we do have these three against a Yorian deck. Let's play red source out first. Sorry for the frame rates, guys. Um, I'm realizing it's very game dependent when this happens. We're going to try and make this quick, though it is a Yorian deck, so... We will see. If they just counter this, I'm going to be real sad. Yep. It's a fairy bounce. Yep. Oh, that's not bad. Get a feather out. There is hope yet. It's a vague hope, but there is hope yet. Uh, really apologize for the frame rates, guys. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do. Network is crapping out a little bit. <laughs> I've been having issues just with the client, though, in general. Okay. Okay, there you go. It's about to say. Um, hmm. Let's try this. Let's get season of growth down. Uh, let's. We're gonna attack them. Wait, what? Why in the world? I wonder why that happened. Oh, I'm an idiot. I always forget about Teferi. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Sorry guys. The misplays have been very real. That was entirely my fault. That feels bad. Oh, feels so bad. Yeah. 
You got it. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> oh, I am an idiot. All right, let's... Uh... <laughs> Let's do this. Let's play another season of growth here. I'm gonna kill Teferi. Uh, I can't because of Teferi, of course. We'll end the turn. All right. Bad news is next turn Teferi comes back, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll see, guys. This one, I already misplayed pretty heavily there. That was a mistake, but that's okay. <sighs> Season of Growth costs three, huh? I'm going to do this just to draw cards now. That, like, this, like, little interaction feels nice, because no matter what, you're going to draw some cards. In that case, we get to draw three cards, which is very, very good. Uh, I'm just going to play the temple here. Could have played that first, but it doesn't really matter too much, I don't think, at this point. Um, I'm actually going to keep that, uh, and we'll just attack in. Oh, I can't. Duh. Thanks to Elspeth Cocker's death. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> All right. Yep. These frame rates are killing me. I hate this so much. Um, we're also not in a very good position. If it goes too much longer, I'm just going to go ahead and concede. There's very little that we can probably do to get past all this, but we're going to try. I mean, we've got a haster, which is great. We'll see if they want to bounce something here. That shuts us down really hard. We do have a solution for it. Ugh. Actually, this kind of gets out from under that. Let's do this. Let's do this. We have to kill Narset first, honestly. Because we kind of just need to be able to do stuff. <laughs> if they counter this, that's pretty bad. I don't think this uh, Bant version runs too many counters, but I might be wrong. Scry 2. Yeah, we'll keep that. Not going to draw it right away, but hopefully... Just kill that. We have to kill Narset first, otherwise we're not going to be able to draw anything. Um, and keep this going. Oh, come on. All right, I am going to go ahead and concede here. Half because of the frame rate issue, and half because I just don't think there's a way that we're going to win that. Um, we could have killed Narset still, that's fine, but it would have obviously uh, been a bit slow. So, all right, here's the deal. Um, I misplayed a lot. <laughs> there is no way around it. I messed up quite a few times, uh, and that's okay. I mean, you live and you learn. Uh, the Naya deck is fun, uh, but I think with adding in the green to the feather deck, you really come up with a few inconsistencies. And we saw that in a few of the games, excuse me, where we just didn't get the lands that we needed. <laughs> uh, and I don't think, I don't think the payoff is necessarily worth it because you're already getting a very good payoff. This just helps you kind of go over the top. Um, and I think that that's fine, but I don't think it's very, uh, I, I think you lack that consistency and that consistency is really what makes feather good. 
Um, so I'm not in for this one, I don't think. As fun as it was, uh, it's not very strong in the best of one ladder, in my opinion, mostly because uh, it gets outpaced. Uh, I mean, that's just the end of it. Now, obviously, given a good hand, you can go very, very quickly. Uh, and I, again, I think that's where you can can go over the top, but I just don't think we were able to get there. Um, and some of that, I think, was misplaced. Some of that, though, I think was just kind of the deck. Um, so I'm not in love with this one. It's fun to try. Uh, it is a very fun deck, and because it runs just kind of a lot of combat tricks, like, it's pretty easy to build. Uh, you're not looking at a ton of, like, really mythic wild cards or anything like that. Uh, granted, Feather, but... Uh, you know, it's, it's fine. I, I don't love it though. It was, it was cool to try out, but I just don't think it's there. Uh, that's kind of my summation thoughts on this list. I do appreciate the, uh, the recommendation, Adam. Thank you very much. Uh, again, probably not the exact list that you suggested, but I did see that in your, uh, your messages to us. So thank you very much. Um, and it was fun. It just wasn't quite there. Now, uh, things to look forward to, guys. The Aquaria giveaway is ending in just a couple days. On Saturday, May 16th, we are going to be giving away a free bundle. Make sure that you enter before Saturday. Uh, that's going to be probably done around noon Saturday, so just keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> also, we do have our box openings coming out very, very soon. Cannot wait. Uh, those are really, really fun to open, so I'm excited about those. We do have a collector's booster box and a regular one, so two are coming out. Uh, so thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate you watching the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a comment, and make sure to uh, subscribe if you are not already. And if nothing else, to enter the giveaway, we really would appreciate it. So thanks a lot, guys. I will see you in the next gameplay video.